Alright, this is Demonocalypse. Um, thought I'd try doing something different with this. Um, I think I have more than enough World of Tanks video. This is another game. It's not out yet. Uh, right now you, they have uh, three demo levels, if you will. The game is called Interstellar Marines. I will put a link into the description. And it's right now they have three, um, well, mini games, if you will. They use the Unity web player, so I'm playing this in a smaller resolution than normal um, on the web browser. Um, the other two ones can go full sp full screen, however, this one does not seem to be able to. Um, I've muted the sound because it can get quite loud. So I'm um, just going to go through, this is the vault area. This is basically going to showcase everything they have in the game. So um, we'll just go forward and look at everything they have here. Yes, yeah, all very dramatic. Uh, Interstellar Marines is a futuristic first-person shooter. You'll be able to control uh, mechs and such. Uh, that's really loud. Um, and um, the first chapter, I believe, the main enemies will be these uh, shark creatures. Um, uh, they actually have a small uh, bit on it in uh, the vault here. I'll go through that. Um, they have an explanation for basically everything. So. Um, yeah, and it's really nice. These are holograms. They did some very nice stuff. They even have a small, um, test area where you get to explore a bit, but let's just go through this. Titan Walker. Tron Bell M7 Heavy Assault Support Robot is commonly known as the Titan Walker. The prime function of the Titan Walker is to provide cover and suppressive fire in confined areas where tanks and similar heavy assault vehicles cannot enter. It can be equipped with a large array of weapons and is shown here with twin 30mm Gatling guns. The Titan Walker can be remote controlled by a single Marine, or it can act on its own through its advanced Pathlock 3.0 AI. Alright, most likely they're lying about that caliber because that looks really fucking small. I'd say these are closer to 50 cal than 30 millimeter, but... It could be that this is a smaller model we're looking at, and it's not to scale, but that really doesn't look like 30 millimeter. I mean, average person, 6 feet tall, it looks to be about maybe, I can't jump here, but maybe uh, 10, 12 feet tall. Yeah, It really doesn't look like 30 millimeter right there. That's really all i got to say about that. I can sprint during this portion too, so get around this. And this is the Megaloon. They have a really nice um, intro for the Megaloon. It's basically an orbital dropship uh, thingy. Okay, and okay, we're gonna go through the guided tour now. This is actually pretty cool, if I remember correctly. So here we're just watching like what the Megaloon would normally go through on orbital reentry. It's
idea if that was an accurate simulation experience or not. It, it feels okay, I guess. I just wish I could f see this in full screen, but here's the front of the Megaloon. I think I've seen this somewhere before, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, just sprinting along here, getting mute. They don't have sound controls in this demo, so... Okay, shark creature. Did I miss... Did I skip one? No, the marines are behind me, so... This is the shark creature! The Carcharodon Polemos, also nicknamed the shark creature, is a genetically engineered mixture of the most dangerous animals on Earth. Combining the agility and speed of the land predators with the aggressive nature and brute force of the great white shark, the ITO scientists have created a lethal creature using the latest technology in gene engineering. Its massive bone structure and incredible muscle density, together with the vicious and deadly jaws from the white shark, make it the next step in planetary warfare, and it will soon be ready for full-scale deployment. All right, Jaws 3.0. As you can see, that's what th this is kind of the guy who you will be playing, and you get nom nommed a lot. <sighs> okay. Do, 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 do. I have no idea if I'm breaking any copyright or anything doing this. If I get a cease and desist, I most likely will. Hope I don't. But anyways, these are the guys you will be playing. The Interstellar Marines Special Operations Immersion Suit is an improved version of the traditional Special Forces Zero-G Environment Suit. It comes with a fully integrated, dual-valved rebreather system, Kevlar armor padding, and an interlinked heads-up display and weapons information system. The PDA attached to the Marine's arm provides access to the suit's main functionality and interfaces with the enhanced microprocessing unit in the backpack. The weapons shown here are the MyQ CE6 submachine gun, Ronson and Bernstein OS-1 pistol, and the MyQ TS-2.1 Rhino tactical shotgun. All right. To say the least, um, the submachine gun's a piece of shit. I'll be able to show it in a later video of uh, Bullseye, the little um, shooting gallery they set up for you. Um, the shotgun haven't used it yet. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Uh, this guy's no. This one of them has has it on their backpack too. Yeah, here it is. Uh, the pistol. I can't crouch, so this is the best angle I can get. He's got it on its leg. This is uh, yeah, a submachine gun. Okay, this is probably the b best angle I can get on the pistol as of now. Um, submachine gun feels very underpowered once I get into the walking man. If I decide to continue with this, and if you guys agree with me that it's a good idea, but that's basically all the preview stuff from um, Interstellar Marines of the Vault. Um, if you want to come in and experience it, um. Yeah, it's it's a good. So far, everything they show me seems good. Um, some of the preview shots, uh, their faces are Barbie and Ken, I guess you could call very plastic. Um, one guy has his visor up over here. I can't get a good angle. It looks fairly old styled, but um, it uses the Unity 3D engine. Uh, it's a web engine. Um, it, a lot of people are starting to use it. Uh, just open it up in your browser and you can use it anytime you want. Um, let's see, what was it? Okay, pause. Oh, there was a full screen up. Alright, that little bing at the end there, was, just before this, was, uh... It needs to sync up with my mouse properly, it takes a few seconds to do that. But that little bing was the game crashing because I was recording and trying to switch the full screen. They couldn't take it, so the Unity engine crashed. Um, it takes a little while for the mouse to link up properly with the Unity engine. Ok, 
Okay, there we go. But, alright. Very action-packed. like the smoke effects. I don't know if that's, those are actually in-game or they modeled that just for this. If they're in-game, great. That'd be awesome. I don't think I noticed them when I was playing Walking Man or Bullseye. But we'll see that in the next video. Anyways, want me to continue this? Good, I will. Maybe, I don't know. Anyways, this has been Demonocalypse. Thank you for watching.